Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have an Opel Movano, it's 2021. This engine is 2.3 liter, 100 kilowatt. And uh, I have tried to read this issue. And guess what? I have a surprise. Flex, it was not able to read this issue. I will show you also why. Let's connect the software. We have the software connected. Let's uh, type for our issue. It's Opel. He doesn't find, but just for you to see. I don't have it here. I need uh, 100 kilowatt. Then it's not this one. But anyway, you can go back. If you want to be exactly, you put the big brother. One hundred kilowatts. Let's take this one. Try to connect. As I said, we have switch on. You noticed. Let's try to connect and see what happens. He will search for the file. I have the internet connected. He will connect to the server. And you noticed over here, when he will write you not reading available, it means this version of the software, it, uh, it cannot be found on the server. He search for the hardware number, the software number, and if he doesn't find exactly the same software number, Flex doesn't allow you to go forward, because as I mentioned earlier, they don't have this file on the server. What you have to do, you noticed also when you go back here, when you go back, you have bench readings. On bench readings, it's same. I will put a picture on the screen and you will see. He also want to have virtual readings. He write the same fault. I don't know if it's the software problem. Maybe have a bug or something else. But on this case, when this happens, you have here the screenshot. Let me go back. I will show you what you have to do on this case. Okay. Then connect again. Because if you request support from the company, they also should have this uh, data. Right here in the corner, we have this console export. You click, he will download the, everything what you see on the screen, this information. And here on the left side, take a screenshot. You will take a screenshot, you will save also the data. And then you can open a ticket right to the company flex and of course if they don't have this file on the server you are not able to read this issue but if they have it on the server they will upload and maybe with the next update will be ready to go but at this moment this issue type i cannot read it this software type because uh, it can also happens when the car go back to the warranty and they have different faults on the engine issue most of them they are resolved with uh, update with a uh, issue engine update if you have a new software version, of course, will be not so fast available on the tuning programmer. But first of all, as I said, and I mentioned again, take the screenshot, make this export data, send it, and wait for the answer. On my case, I cannot do this issue. Also, I tried on the bench. I tried through OBD. It is clear the software version, what is inside on this issue, is much newer than what I can have it from the server. And uh, yeah, it is really bad. I cannot do this job, but... When you have things like this one, just let the company to know with the next update or maybe in two, three updates, they will resolve this problem, okay? I make also this kind of videos because you want to see when a programmer also failed. I don't know if it's 100% the fault of the programmer because he cannot extract uh, the data also through OBD. But uh, this uh, type of uh, engine is you. It is quite hard to work with him. The Flexi doesn't have for, for so many uh, time this protocol for reading of this uh, type of issue. I know I will have comments below and I'm glad to have also different ideas, opinion about this. I know the auto tuner can read this type of issue, but I am also not so sure if auto tuner have exactly this type of the software available. If they will have it, of course, they will be able to read it. If you don't have it, as I said, you are not able to read. It's not because the flex cannot do it. It is because that data, it is not at this moment on the server. Let me a comment below and tell me which programmer you use for these readings. Tell me also good experience and also bad experience because I, I never saw on the internet somebody to post bad experience about the tuning programmers. I mean, fuck off. You should be honest. If at this moment Flex, it doesn't work, it doesn't mean it's a bad programmer. It means it can be improved, but 
if you don't give a uh, negative feedback for the company, how they can improve. It is similar like you are doing with me. You leave me a bad uh, comment below, I am not pissed, okay? I try to improve, if I can. If I cannot, this is my limit, okay? It also happens with the company. But always give a feedback. It doesn't mean it should be always good, okay? Give also negative feedback of the programmer. Because in this way, the company, they will push more and more and more, you know? I hope you understand my point. We should not always do the review on the internet. Amazing, amazing, amazing. No. If they will have problem, let them to know. And in this way, they will resolve the problem. It is like taking the scanning programmer, but I don't want to make this video too long. Also similar, I see in, on internet 99.9% .9 only good reviews and this programmer is amazing, is the best one, the best one, the best one. No, fuck off man, tell also the truth. Try to communicate with many cars and when you have problem, let people to know. Because let's say at this moment somebody wants to buy this type of the programmer, only because of this type of issue. I do have a subscriber on the channel, his name is Vlad. And he work with French car. He make a lot of Renault, Opel, Citroën. And maybe he decide to buy this programmer because of this issue. Because he have a lot of customer with this type of cars. Let also help the people. Okay? You, I hope you understand my point. I will close here. It's not so much to learn from this video. I mean, it's nothing to learn from this video. Only to send a ticket. Only to see what you should do when you have this type of problem. And on this way, we'll be always up to date. Okay? I will stop here. And I will tell you thank you for watching. Bye-bye.